electric cow. So this is the study of interchange. Interchange of chemical <coughs> and electrical energy. So you probably not a not have noticed, uh, but when uh, whenever you've had a reaction in the past and you've taken a look at oxidation states and there's charges, so sodium's plus one, magnesium's plus two, etc. Those oxidation states can change during a reaction. Because they change, there's an exchange of electrons going on. And this is really common for most reactions. Because of that, uh, there, because of electrons moving around, that causes current or electrical energy. And so these reactions not only produce energy like a delta H, thermodynamic sort of energy, but they also produce electrical current. So you can set up little batteries and things like that for electrochemical reactions. There's all kinds, uh, and we're going to talk about some. And uh, the nice thing about this uh, electrical energy is mechanical energy is about 25% efficient. So the things you learn in physics early on, you got about 25% efficiency. Electrical energy is about three times more efficient. So we have a high degree of efficiency. All batteries that you think of in your cell phone, laptops, the AA, AAA batteries, etc., those all are chemical reactions that occur and give off electrical energy. So they're all, quote, redox type reactions. And that's what uh, the first section really is, redox. So what I want to start off with is give you a little summary of what redox is uh, so we can go on. You have to know redox, and this was chapter 5 originally, so if you need to review redox, get to it, because we're going to do a lot of redox. But I'm going to give you some oxidation reduction definitions. Oxidation reduction definitions. So we'll have, there'll be three columns. The second column is oxidation definition, the third column is reduction, and we'll start here. First of all, if you have oxygens and there is a gain of oxygens, that's oxidation. If you have a loss of oxygens, that's a reduction. So more oxygens in the products, you've got an oxidation. Hydrogen definition is just the opposite. So for hydrogen, if there is a loss of hydrogens, it's oxidation. If there's a gain, it's reduction. If you had me in a previous class, my favorite way in 2A to do this was by the oxidation state. We'll switch it around for ease uh, in 2C. But for oxidation state, if you increase your oxidation state, you have just oxidized. So your oxidation state goes up, that's oxidation. If you decrease or reduce your oxidation state, that's a reduction. So reduce oxidation state, hopefully that's somewhat straightforward. You've just had a reduction. A common one we're going to use in 2C are the last two. Uh, for electrons, <coughs> if there is a loss of electrons, that's oxidation. And if there's a gain of electrons, that's reduction. This is the most common one taught in tutoring centers. If you've uh, heard like the mnemonics oil rig, or Leo says Gurr, uh, lose electrons oxidation, gain electrons reduction. So if you've gone to tutoring centers, this is probably the one they teach you, but it's only one of numerous definitions of what's oxidation, what's reduction. And finally, we're going to use this one a lot in 2C, half reactions. If you look at the half reaction, if you see electrons in the products, that's an oxidation. 
that if you see electrons in the reactants, that's a reduction. <coughs> So those are your common definitions.